Hey guys, welcome back to our flex joint series. Today, we're gonna to be putting together the two and three eighths. Again, those measurements are based on the mounting width of that flex ball. This one, like usual, it's gonna have our ball, it's gonna have our races, our end caps, our clamping hardware, and a greaser. We're gonna be installing it into this thread of mail end here for instructional purposes. So let's get after it. Now, like usual, we want to put a little smear of grease on everything. And as, as previously mentioned, no specifications on what kind of grease to use. Whatever you got in the gun works. We'll smear on the ball and then we'll get the races too. Now, what's going to be a little bit different about this one is we are sending bolts through, but it's going into a threaded collar. We are not going to have nuts on the back side. A little bit simpler on this one. So we're going to send a couple of bolts through. And it's pretty easy to tell. Come back in here for one second. You can see it's an alternating pattern. You got threaded, 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 and then we've got kind of a recessed hole there that that socket head screw is going to sit right into. So we'll get a couple started. Flip that over. Put a race on. Get that into the male end. And again, bit of a tight fit, but it goes in nice. We get the ball slid in there. Now again, with those two bolts started, we have a little bit easier time lining up the second race. All right, we'll lay that other race in there again, keeping in mind the alternating pattern on the holes. And we'll line up the threaded hole with that bolt. Now we can start sucking it together. And we're just going kind of finger tight to get things started. And as we've mentioned before, as you start putting that clamping hardware in there, that ball is gonna get harder and harder to rotate. So we wanna try and keep it nice and centered as we get closer to those uh, torque values. And as previously mentioned, this bolt together design, the lack of snap rings, lack of threaded collar, that's what's gonna keep these things nice and strong and long lasting so that you're not constantly revisiting these things for rebuilds. Finish sucking it together with the ratchet before we get to the torquing procedure. And as you can see, just the ratchet, I'm not getting too, too far in it, not going all ham because we are relying very heavily on that proper torquing sequence to contribute to the long life of these joints. Now that we've got everything snugged, it's time for the torquing sequence. And we're going to start, just like last time, this is a um, kind of a, a, a dual pass setup. We're going to do our first round at 50 inch pounds and the second round at 65 inch pounds. And again, guys, set up a four inch pounds. This torque wrench, not foot pounds. Don't use this one. And like always, we're going to be going in a crisscross pattern. Just like you're torquing the lug nuts on your wheel. All right, that's first pass, both sides, 50 inch pounds. We're gonna bump her up to 65. And that's second round. Now, just like the two and five ace, we were gonna let that sit for five minutes. Uh, and then we're gonna do another pass. So while we're waiting, we'll get that grease circ put in. And again, we want this to be orientated so that it's most easily accessed when it's in the bracket you're putting it into. So I would not recommend, again, going full ham right out the gate. Just get it snugged and then uh, figure out your orientation once you're installed. Go ahead and slap some grease in there. Now with it being a tighter clearance joint, don't be surprised if you're not getting a lot in there. That's completely normal. Like I said, we don't have a specification on the grease. Whatever you got in the gun's fine. Uh, when you're pumping it up, just keep in mind, if it's a thinner grease, you'll probably get some more pumps in there. If it's a thicker grease, you might not get as much in there. Whatever you get in there is fine. All right, it's been five minutes, so we're going to go ahead, do that final pass, and we'll be all set. Hitting the last head here. Should be ready for install on your project. Thanks for stopping by.